What's going on? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, joined by your boy Will Bethay. Today we're going to be talking about Last Ronin issue two. <laughs> For IDW, this is probably like the biggest thing going on in IEW and Turtles. People were specking on this book. People don't stop talking about it. We did a video on the first issue. Oh, yeah. Kind of really didn't care for it as much. Got the second one. What'd you think, man? All right, people. Hey, look. Hey, look. We in this community together. But I'm just saying this. I'm not that dude that was in the comics. I was I, I was into the TV show, the, the cartoon Ninja Turtles, the first one. Okay. I don't see how my man Splinter gets 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 tore up. They get jumped. The turtles get jumped with they they man. And then they get to my, who, who is it? Casey Jones and damn April. uh, April's house, and they like, yo, we got jump, everything on, you know, split a hurt. Look, it's just crazy. Next thing you know, your boy Raph was rap. He rolled out and get dealt with. <laughs> I mean, he get killed. He died that night. He get killed. On a solo mission. When, when, when did they do that? Every time I watch the cartoon, the cats came. April should have been there. The other turtles should have been there. Casey Jones with the goddamn talk stick. Everybody should have been He didn't get no help. <laughs> and this has started. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then Michael, Michelangelo, he says in the book. Hey, we had this big fight. Everybody died. So I rode. Went to the mountains. He ain't check on Casey Jones. He ain't check on April. He just said after the fight, look like everybody dead. I'm out. What? Is this, is this, is this what the turtles is? Is this what the turtles is? Look, look. If this is what the turtles is, and y'all mad. I yo 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 hey look I, I like the turtles but I was a GI Joe dude hey it ain't never happened GI Joe ain't never ain't ne they come it don't hey look hey look the the book had some great work in it the art was on point the story I could follow <laughs> but this is Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Hey, look. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Hey, look. I'm just saying for me. Nah, yo. <laughs> nah, yo. Well, I didn't like the first issue yeah. as, as much. It wasn't horrible, but I just felt it was missing some uh, some stuff. Uh, I really liked issue two, though, unlike yeah, okay. you. Okay. I like Raph. I think Raph's my favorite one. Okay. Um, him leaving on his own and leaving them, that's a RAF move. I could totally see him getting pissed off and just ditching them, going out the way he did. Um, I think it deserved – like, it, it deserved – like, that's why we should have went out. He's going to ditch his brothers, take it on his own self. He's not going to wait. It's time to go to work. And he got worked. Um, yeah. When it comes to the Michelangelo story, you know, we get to meet Casey's daughter and her and um, – her and April oh, – Casey and April's daughter – we get to see more of the new Shredder guy who's taken over New York, yeah. possibly the world. Um, this this story has a lot to offer. I think this one does a really better job of introducing me to the world. That the first one just kind of threw me in it, and I saw the last Ronin. He's on his last mission, uh, and then the end. You find out it's Michelangelo. With this, I get a lot of backstory. Okay, so there's a truce between the Turtles and the Foot Clan. Um, Splinter got he got killed first, yeah. and then there then Raph gets killed, and then there's an explosion that happens that possibly kills Donnie and Leonardo, and then Mikey lives, and then I understand why Mikey becomes the last Ronin. This book redeemed the first one for me a lot. I am fully on board with the series now. I thought like I didn't understand what they were trying to do in the first one because it just. 
I don't read the ongoing series. I, I buy the hardcovers and I read those. And I'm up to hardcover five. So and I think they just released twelve. So I'm uh, there's a big gap where I'm at in these books. But the idea of this is pretty cool. I just I didn't understand where the first one was coming from. But this one, you know, we see them. It's it feels like more of a turtle story. Uh, April got jacked up. I didn't realize she was missing a leg and an arm. And an arm. Yeah. So uh, I liked how Shredder's granddaughter Kari or Kira, however they say her name. She's kind of like Electra now. Oh yeah, yeah. She oh, basically yeah. She stole all, yeah. Electra's wardrobe and, oh, and just yeah. went with that. The creators of the turtles, they have a cameo in the beginning panels. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you noticed that. Um I thought this was a fun read. It was definitely um worth the wait. I mean it redeemed the first one. I can't wait for the other issues. I hope they don't get um delayed as much. Okay. But uh for eight ninety nine I was I was satisfied. I just don't like the oversized magazine. Oh. Because I, I have to go and buy the magazine the style bar, yeah, yeah. Uh, board and bag. Yeah. Awesome book. Really, I really enjoyed this one. Um, this is this is probably my pick of the week. Out of the stuff that we're going to be reviewing for this week. Okay. Last Ronin 2 is, is definitely uh, my book. Um, hey. Maybe it's because I'm a Raph fan. I don't know. But... Um, Oh yeah, we get to see his story of him becoming the last Ronin, and it's in that old school Mirage, the early issue style, yeah, of the that turtle was, stuff. That was really that was cool. cool. That was cool. Him learning, you know, all four of his full, well, his three other brothers' styles, and making it his own. Yeah. And we see that, you know, Casey Jones's daughter and April's is the leader of this resistance or whatnot. I definitely think that there's a lot more to come that can be better. I think this was originally. Solicited as a three-part story. Now it's a five. Because, I mean, yeah, you could do a lot with this. And I can't wait to see how Leonardo and Donatello go down. If it's anything like Raph, it's going to be an awesome series. Um, This is definitely going to be a hardcover pickup for me, too, when it comes out. Um, Or they'll probably put it in, like, hardcover 13 or 14. But, yeah, Last Ronin Issue 2. I'm pretty sure if you're following comic books... You're going in on the shop on Wednesdays. You probably picked this one up because um, most people did who are reading comics. Mm-hmm. But as always, guys, give us that like. Hit us up in the comments section. Me and B love getting back to you guys and, and having those conversations with you. Uh, and as always, guys, be safe. Peace.